So the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown, now before I talk about the Intercontinental, the Intercontinental Championship match, there is a few things we gotta talk about. Number one, uh, they said that the woman that was wearing the hoodie that attacked Tegan Knox during the uh, Women's Tag Team Championship match, it was Zia Lee. So yeah, uh, they're going to figure out to get like an explanation from Zia Lee from that attack. But then after that, we see Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Solo Sokoa, the bloodline, arriving to SmackDown. So yeah, uh, Roman's here on SmackDown now. And we got a segment with him later on tonight. But then we get to the next match. It was the Intercontinental Champion Gunther versus Ricochet 101 for the Intercontinental Championship. Ricochet makes his way down to the ring. Gunther comes out with Imperium. And then Adam Pearce is already in the ring. So he says that, no, this is going to be a fair match. Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci gets to be gone from ringside. So yeah, Imperium's not ringside for this match. So it was just going to be a one-on-one match. For the Intercontinental Championship. And we get to the match. And it was a really good match. I liked it. Probably match of the night. We still got like another match or whatever. But in my opinion. I can already say. This is going to be match of the night. You know. This match was really good. Uh, Gunther was taking control. Majority of this match. In the beginning obviously. Uh, Ricochet trying to fight back a few times. Laying in some drop kicks and stuff. To knock Gunther off his feet a few times. And it didn't work. But you know. At the ending. Ricochet starts coming back a little bit, you know, with some shots and all that stuff. But then we get to the ending of this match where we see Rick, where we see Gunther actually jump off the top turnbuckle at one point, but Ricochet puts his feet up and Gunther lands on his feet, pretty much, uh, you know, hitting his face on his feet. Ricochet lifts him up like a uh, twisted suplex, uh, you know, gold dust is the old finisher move, uh, the final cut. That's where he hits on Gunther, he pins him, but Gunther barely kicking out too. Ricochet then climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumps off with a shooting star press onto Gunther, which is his other finisher move. He pins him. One, two, Gunther barely kicking out at two. Uh, Ricochet waited for Gunther to get back up to his feet. Ricochet was trying to hit like a drop kick onto Gunther, but while he was in the air for the drop kick, Gunther hits him with a vicious chop to the chest. And then he picks him back up, hitting that power bomb onto him, pins him. One, two, Ricochet barely kicking out at two. Gunther's so surprised about it, he lifts Ricochet back up. Ricochet then slaps the hell out of him, and then Gunther lays in a slap to him in the face, and then he lifts him up onto his shoulders, hitting his new finish move, the last sympathy, onto him, and then pins him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Gunther defeated Ricochet tonight and has retained the Intercontinental Championship. That's what happened. Really good match. Go check it out if you have it yet. Really good stuff. But then... After the match ended, we see Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci make their way back down to the ring, celebrating with Gunther. Gunther then tells him to lift up Ricochet because it looks like he's about to lay in the chop onto him. Up until we see Braun Strowman, you know, come saving Ricochet, chasing Imperium out of the ring. So yeah, Braun Strowman standing with Ricochet saving him. And yeah, looks like we're going to be getting Gunther versus Braun Strowman. For the Intercontinental Championship soon. So yeah, I bet that match is going to be pretty good as well, in my opinion. So yeah, like I said, really good match between Ricochet and Gunther. If you have yeah, go check it out. Gunther retained the title. Very good stuff. But yeah, uh, for that match, I gotta give it four and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a really good match. Gunther done really great. Ricochet done really great as well. Just really good match. You know, four and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. I would say, in my opinion already, we still got like another match or whatever. In my opinion, that's going to be match of the night right there. But yeah, after that match, we get to another segment backstage where we see Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, Solo Sokoa sitting in Roman's locker room pretty much. And uh, we see Jimmy Uso come walking up in there and he goes like, look, I want to tell you a few things. What do you got planned for Sami Zayn tonight? Now look, if you're going to make him uh, official Uso, Uso, Sammy Us or whatever, Sammy Uso, I'm all for it, I like Sammy Uso, <laughs> I like Sammy Zayn how he is, that's my dog, but I do love the bloodline and all that, I love you, I love the whole family, so if whatever you got planned, we're going to see you out there and stuff like that, and then Roman was like, okay, okay, and then Jimmy Uso walks out, the, out of the room and he looks at Paul Heyman and goes like, hey Paul Heyman, call Adam Pierce, and Paul Heyman starts calling Adam Pierce. so yeah, it looks like uh, Roman Reigns, 
Roman Reigns is waiting for Adam Pearce to appear in his locker room. So, yeah, that's what happened. Really good stuff, though. So, yeah. Um, up next, I guess we're going to be seeing what uh, Roman gets to say to Adam Pearce up next on SmackDown. Not only that, later on tonight, Roman Reigns gets another segment in the uh, last segment of the night, like the main, main event or whatever. And then, obviously, we had that triple threat tag team match with Hit Row versus the Viking Raiders versus Legato del Fantasma later on tonight as well. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then.